All week, 10 on your side has been exploring the resources being used to keep your children safe this school year. As you can imagine, it all comes with a cost. As 10 on your side's Brett Hall found out, it's likely going to cost you more and more each year. Brett. More than six months have passed since a school shooting left 17 dead in Parkland, Florida. The school and campus security market is now a $1 billion industry in this country. And according to Market Research Future, it's only going to continue to grow with the taxpayers' help. In Virginia Beach, Superintendent of Schools Aaron Spence is proud to say our schools are safe. However, he admits in his four years leading the district, he's never been more committed to backing that statement up as he has going into this school year. But I think our community realized that when we saw the school shootings at Parkland, uh, it, was, it was another stark reminder of what can happen in our schools. Ten on your side has learned more than half of the school districts in Ampton Roads are in fact including more in the budgets this year for school security. We're investing in ways to, to make it harder to get into our buildings. Virginia Beach will spend $280,000 to implement a buzzer system to identify people before they come in. Likewise, in York County, more than $175,000 will go towards installing four security vestibules. They'll direct school visitors to the front office to sign in. Williamsburg will implement a similar measure, an $18,000 school visitor sign-in system called Identikit. However, the combined half a million spent on those districts in security is nothing compared to the $840,000 Isle of Wight schools has committed to improving security this year. Funds will be used on several projects, including upgrades to emergency communication and intrusion detection systems. In March, it was Chesapeake City Council who approved an emergency $2 million appropriation to improve security in its schools, directly citing the February shooting in Florida. The money is being used from everything to improving video camera access to finding better ways to alert first responders in case of a crisis. Many school districts, such as Pocosin and Portsmouth, are adding school resource officers. I wish every day that my number one job was to focus on, on education, but number one before anything else is to, to keep every student and every adult in this building safe. School resource officers are an expensive investment, with an estimated $1.2 million funding 15 positions just in those districts. Longtime Norfolk School Resource Officer Albert White says it certainly pays off. It is very important, and I don't take it lightly. When you build that bond with the, with the kids, they feel that wall just goes down, that barrier wall, and you can just, just talk about anything. Anything could include threats they've heard about that, in turn, could help law enforcement defuse situations before they occur. I'm willing to give up my life. That's what all of us do. Whether you're on patrol or you're in a school, you're willing to give up your today for everybody else's tomorrow. In Hampton, no additional funds will be spent on security this year, but Hampton Police will be leading training for all staff on ALICE. That stands for Alert, Lock Down, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. The district says it will only add to other programs they've already had in place. Back in Virginia Beach, Superintendent Spence says it's a delicate balance to keep schools both welcoming yet secure. And while the cost of keeping students safe continues to rise, I've not had anybody say we shouldn't be spending more money on school security. Those we spoke with who work on protecting the learning environment say it's all about a better tomorrow. Our children are our investment, and we should always protect our investments. It's important to note that not all the money we listed comes directly out of your pocket. Many school districts have received grants to offset the security costs. Now, the school resource officers want to stress that all the technology in the world means nothing if students and staff themselves don't all work together. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.